Funops is again showing what the full idea of the scope of a project is. Welcome back. Yes, that was my computer. Okay, so today we're going to be doing a... What is a CONOPS? So a CONOPS is part of the system engineering process which you go through with high level engineering projects and it is one specific section of it. I should probably do a systems engineering process video so you guys can know where this is coming from, but essentially a CONOPS is one section of it. The concept of operations essentially is you're brainstorming what your project is going to be doing. So you're brainstorming what might happen, how it's going to run, initial investigation and planning. You've also got like um, sometimes you do system architecture. Um, it, purely is just trying to get an idea of what the project is in one. Um, so what I will be doing is using my thesis project and showing you how I've created a CONOPS for it. I had already had an idea about my thesis project so it's a lot easier for me to make up a CONOPS. Um, essentially it's a lot harder when you just have a client coming to you saying I want a UAV to do this and you have to create a CONOPS for it. Um, but I'll be showing you how to physically do a CONOPS based on a project that might come along. So I'll be using my thesis project. Um, okay, so. Okay, so the favourite thing to use to create a CONOPS is a program called Draw.io. Um, essentially I didn't have it on my computer. Um, I don't have it on my computer anymore. Um, purely because it wouldn't open for some reason uh, when I upgraded. So now I'm just using the online version. Um, the difference between the online version and the program that you actually download is when you've drawn your pictures and you export them, you actually get a better quality out of the actual program if you download it onto your computer rather than using the one online. So anyway, to get into it, um, essentially my UAV has to fly along a runway and be able to find foreign object debris. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to draw my runway. Um, you can zoom in and zoom out if you want to make it really, really pretty, like make it look like a proper runway, which is what I was doing at one point. They're really thick. Um, This is going to look like a very small runway, but it is essentially a runway, so I've got my two points there. Um, so my UAV will be starting from its little charging block, one end, and it will be going from one end to the other. So these are my two start and end points, I essentially start and end, um, and then this is my runway. So the next thing I will be doing is I will stick my little drone here, put it to size, and go, okay, so this is my drone in the middle of the runway. I also have a f my flight path, which will be from one end to the other, and I'll change that to a colour. I have a colour. Um, Okay, so that is my flight path, and then down the bottom here I can move this, I can create some sort of legend, and just say, I'll just make this small. Flight path. Um, cool. So that is my flight path. So I know my flight path is from one end to the other. And then I know my UAV also has to capture the full width of the runway. So what I'm also going to do is I will be making another line, line box thing around here with my UAV right in the middle. And I will also be making a little cross section of it, which I will also make the same color. Uh, one thing you have to remember is with dry oak, whatever you want on the very top, 
is the last thing you have to put on. So now my UOB is right at the bottom here and I actually can't bring it to the front. I have to move everything out of the way to, and then delete it. Ah, wrong one. Move this arrow as well. Okay, so we'll stick this back here. And we'll make the other side as well. Fab. And then we'll stick my drone on here. This is the area, the green part is the area that my drone will be looking at, um, what it needs to essentially detect, like what area it needs to detect what it's looking for. So I will write here, ooh, that's already connected. It is a little f fiddling, this program, but essentially everything looks really nice um, after you've done everything. Detection area, area, oh, I can't spell. Alright, so I've got my fly path and my detection area. This is my start and end point, so I can always just write start end. And let's just make. Let me change the font size. Yeah. Start end. I can do the same on that side. Um, so essentially then I've got my first image for my con ops. So then you put in a description underneath it of what it's actually showing. So what I would write in this, I would write, so figure one is showing the flight path of what the UAV will be doing. It will take one pass over the runway and the green box is essentially the detection square where it would be looking for for an object detection. Um, so essentially that is a top-down view and I'll write that it's a top-down view. Um, then what I'd essentially be doing is I would be making a sort of like side-on view. Is that what I used last time? I don't remember. So I'd be using like a side-on view um, which essentially is like looking straight at the UAV and it looking down um, and then I'd show okay so this is what I'm detecting what area I'm detecting from looking down. Um, I don't really think I would have needed one from a side on view here, but a good side on view example would be if um, there's a lot of elements in your con ops. So, for example, I did have a project which I should probably bring up as an example um, where. where essentially we had a UAV and it had to fly around a 4 by 4 meter square and it also had to detect objects but also not detect false positives. So essentially it's sort of similar to what my project is now, um, but it is a little bit different purely because mine's on a runway yeah so here this picture here is essentially my what a side on view should look like so I've got my obstacles my false positives my targets what my drone will be doing the flight path the target acquisition which is like the finding the objects area you've got the navig like you shows what navigation telemetry link there will be as like your ground control station and speaker so it's literally everything in one um, it's a little bit hard for me to show you that on um, my my thesis project because essentially it is just a runway and it would be looking downwards. Um, I'm also only focusing on purely the target acquisition part of it, so finding the objects on the ground. Um, so the conops is a little simpler. Um, this was done for a project that did have like a. It essentially was like they gave us a client brief and said you have to write a conops. Um, so this is like a full mission overview and then essentially I've done a top down so that was like our flight plan essentially again it's got everything in there um, and then I had what the ground control station would be looking at so essentially that's what everything should be seen on the ground control station um, so this was yeah um, one of the projects that I had but again a conops is again showing what the full idea of the scope of a project is. So 
You could literally do a con ops for probably anything engineering based, um, especially if it's got a little bit of moving parts. Um, each con ops would be a little bit different, but essentially that's how it works. But yeah, if anyone has any other questions, please let me know.